Well, it is uh, just about 11 hours and 24 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, February 4th, 2021. And uh, not much vlogging got done yesterday. I always spent most of the day sleeping in the other realm working there. Uh, I have a bit of burnout, so there were some issues that I had to deal with even when I was sleeping. Uh, when I have an off day, it really does enter my sleep, and the sleep is not, uh, in terms of what I dream, is not comfortable. It's uh, rather, uh, almost like a storm, like almost like a storm. And you feel like there's stormy weather. It, it, it was weird. Uh, yesterday around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I thought it was like, I thought it was uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to check to make sure that there was daylight still outside. And there was. Uh, but anyway, today is better. Uh, I've done my food shopping and things will be here uh, tomorrow and Sunday. And speaking of which, I have another package to open. Yay for that. So, here's the package. Uh, the mail tells you, I got an email from, uh, from Canada Post telling me what's coming in. And this says it should be a vacuum cleaner. I got one of these, I'm going to try out these, these robotic ones. Because, given my schedule, uh, I need help cleaning. <laughs> to say the least. And, um, I figure this will do, do, this will help keep things clean. At least I'm assuming it will. So, you gotta try it out. I didn't spend that much money on it, so. This one is not actually the sweeping one. This one actually does mopping. So I can uh, sweep and then mop the floor uh, with this. Okay, this is where the pack of teeth open. I've got my own video on the background because you can't have anything else on the background. The speaker is doing very well. The new speaker that came in is doing very well. So, happy for that. Alrighty, got that open. I'm not going to take it out of, out of its package right now. There's no, no real need to. I have an area where I, where I take it out of the package and sort of look at things. And I have to photograph it and do a review on the uh, website. So, anyways, it's out of its package in terms of the packing materials. So, here it is here. This is what I got. And, uh, the fuzzy edge here you see around there that's what does the mopping so this is the mopper there's still one on the way that does gonna is going to do the sweeping and the vacuuming and then after the sweeping and vacuuming is done you can get out the the, uh, the mopper one uh, uh, the floor mopping and, and do that as well so it, it does a steam cleaning so uh, I have everything I need so far, so uh, we'll see what happens when the uh, when the other one comes in, the uh, the, the uh, sleeping one. It is Friday, February 5th, um, 2021, and it is just about eight hours into the day. 
How do you know when you're on a path when it's time to move on and you receive something and it's time to move on to the next step? Well, coming from the dream that just came from, this gives you an, uh, gave me an indication, there were two of them in particular, that gave me new perspective, but at the same time showed me that as much as you think you achieve, you actually achieve nothing. That the, the title guru, the title bishop, and so on and so forth, are simply points along the path, uh, points along the road. They're post markings. They're not the road itself. And so there was always going to be struggles. There was always going to be things to learn. My mouth is parched. new things to understand. But yet this is a difficult thing for us to, to understand. It, with what happens is as we grow, as we become uh, in many ways more significant, our own significance blinds us. In other words, the sense of self always becomes a blockade. And it is difficult to always be selfless. It's difficult to give up things. Say you have a girl that you like very much. And this is someone you would say, okay, this is going to be my bride. This is the person that I love. What happens when she loves somebody else but not you? And you end up losing the girl. You end up losing that path along you know, life for marriage. Where do you go from there? <laughs> do you accept being alone? I mean, because if you, in many cases, if you're insignificant, if you're no, if you're nobody, you know, being truly selfless, and that's sort of what ends up happening is that. You end up being alone because it's for the benefit of everybody else that you that you end up giving other people choices that they would not wouldn't wouldn't ordinarily have if you have the power to do this. And the thing is, is that one of the, the one of the things the powers that I will be I, I could achieve on this path. Is immortality, what do you do with all that time? You know, if you have, if you're immortal, but, excuse me, if you're immortal, what do you do all day long? You know, in, in terms of all that time, because nothing is going to end, and then once again, you're on the infinite path. How do you, how, is it, and this is where the, where the thing comes in again with marriage. What happens if the person that you love is not walking the path with you. In many cases, in terms of a relationship, you have to have something in common. You have to have something to work towards together. Yet this is a very difficult thing to understand. That this is the way other people would have to sort of understand what you're doing and want what you're doing in terms of being their path. Everyone has set their own ideas on different things and may not be where you're going or where you're at. And this causes problems. Mm. And no matter how much you think you achieve or where your rights seem to be, Within an instant, they melt away and change. And then you have to start all over again. Not the beginning. Seeing where you made your mistakes, where you could have done better, and 
what other what other improvements there are. And this is the nature of the stroll. This is the nature of the path. And unfortunately, it's not for everybody. There's the bus. Well, it is uh, 18 hours and 24 minutes into the 5th day of February, uh, 2021. That's a Friday. And we're back vlogging again. We're, things are kind of, the schedule is coming back. After a bit of a, a catastrophe where things kind of got tossed, the schedule got tossed, and things were all over the place, uh, uh, things are starting to come back together. Oh. Even though I'm still in a burnt out phase, I'm able to manage uh, the proper levels of meditation. I've actually increased my meditation, including to uh, uh, some uh, called extreme conditioning um, physiological uh, meditations, where you push your body to the limit in certain cases. Uh, in addition to uh, the uh, the fasting uh, uh, meditation, so these things are improving. Some of my, how I react to things are improving. My sort of state of neutral gin uh, is there, even though I'm heavily fatigued. Even though that the, uh, uh, the my tendency to react to a situation isn't there anymore to the degree it was it was before. So I can calmly think my way through the situation rather than simply react to something that that sort of bothers me. And that's what has to happen. Is that you have to be able to, in almost all conditions, uh, in the condition of neutral genus, to sort of pull yourself back from the situation and not let yourself react, but rather to grow into the environment. And that's kind of what's happening is that, is that the, 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 the environment is growing better and better every single day. Uh, so I am having improvements on, on a regular basis, even though there are times, there are days, like yesterday, my body was so fatigued. Uh, there was a lot of pain in, the, in my joints and in my muscles. Uh, and... The, the, the question was whether I could continue or not. You know, have I reached my limit? This is this the end, or you know? Uh, but it wasn't. It was just that I needed some uh, uh, some extra sleep, uh, and that's what I got. And I was able to measure my workout, the things that needed to get done, in such a way that they were able to get done. I was able to put in a food order. Uh, one came in today. One's coming in on Sunday in the evening. Uh, I've got my final tea uh, 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 in the uh, fridge right now. I, I, I've redid, redid my tea uh, the way I do my, my, my cold brew. Uh, it's a much better tea. It helps out with a large chunk of uh, physiological issues. And it, it gives you energy. It, it, it actually provides a meal in a cup in terms of the amount of nutrients that you, your body gets. So it... it it's part of, again, th this would be the, the, the neutral gin aspect of being immersed in the environment includes the cooking, the, uh, the, the making of my drinks, the, the teas that I have. These are all part of the overall experience, and so they all merge together, they all morph together, including uh, uh, the YouTube vlog, the YouTube stroll. YouTube stroll allows me to go see how other people are, are handling with things, handling things. Uh, what their perspectives are, what their particular views are. Uh, I'm able to sort of see this now on TikTok. Uh, I'll be producing some more stuff on TikTok that uh, I can't put up here because uh, of copyright restrictions. But there are certain issues in terms of a mindset that is, for many of what call the liberals, they don't think through, they don't think things through. Their sense of self-righteousness is, is paralleled only by the religious left. Uh, and this is what it is. They are in a sanctimonious position. They gang up on people who don't have their particular views 
or don't share their particular views, and they try to shut people down by ye yelling, screaming, and, and sort of this is a whole uh, culture where they rule by a mob. This is not thinking. This is not thought. This is mob rule, and this is what we see today, particularly from the left. We see a large chunk of mob rule. Uh, and it, this mob rule, these the mob that used to go out and lynch people, is done the exact same way. But before it was for the, these um, religious reasons that people go and get lynched. They would lynch these people for, on, on a on a religious basis. And, but <laughs> I would have to say that the left is as much a religion as the right is, and so they are the religious left. And they are sanctimonious. There is as dangerous as any mob.